Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. This show is for fans, by fans, brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, today we had a dual game. Preds played Winnipeg, and the Admirals played the Iowa Wild. Um, it was a 50-50 split. Um, let's start with the Admirals first off. First off, the Admirals have not scored... Less than three goals since November 2nd. Um, well, technically since November 1st when they lost to Iowa 1-0. Since then, the Admirals have went 5-2 and two against Chicago, 6-4 and four against Manitoba, 3-1, and one, less than three goals, sorry, less than three goals. Um, so they went 5-2, five, and two, five for the Admirals, two for the Wolves. Uh, November 2nd, uh, six four um for the admirals versus uh the uh, moose three one versus san antonio um three well four to three versus san antonio six to three versus uh chicago five to two versus uh laval four to two versus um bellevue and now six to five in the shootout over the Iowa Wild. Now in this game, sh stats. Shots for the first period were 12 to six Milwaukee, 12 10 Iowa in the second, 16 11 Iowa in the third, and one to nothing Iowa in overtime. Um, Okay, Admirals were 2 for 3 on the power play. Iowa was 1 for 5. So, Admirals were just a little over 82% or so. Alright, scoring in the first was uh, Rem Pitlick with an assist from Colin Blackwell, his ninth, and Alexander Carrier, his 12th. Rem Pitlick's 4th of the year. Fourth in uh, in uh, four games, uh, Sam Anas got his fourth goal of the year with assist from Kyle Rao and Brendan Minnell. That was on the power play for them. Um, and then uh, Rem Pitlick got his fifth goal of the season with assist from Tommy Novak, his seventh, and uh, Cole Schneider, his ninth. Then Matt Barkowski got his first of the year shorthanded with assist from Kyle Rao. Then Yakov Trenin unassisted with his eighth. And then the third was, um, well, a roller coaster. I thought I was going to die. Uh, Brendan Manel scored his second of the year with an assist from Sam Anas and Nico Stern. Anas is ninth, Stern's third. Then JT Brown got his third with an assist from Cody McLeod and Gabriel Dumont. Cody McLeod second, Dumont sixth. Then G Gabriel Dumont got his sixth with an assist from JT Brown, his fourth, and Matt Barkowski, his fourth. Then, with literally less than two to go, Daniel Carr got his 10th of the year with an assist from Cole Schneider, his 10th, and Rem Pitlick, his 7th. Then, um, Alexander Carrier got his 1st of the year with an assist from Daniel Carr, his 8th, and Yakov Trenin, his 8th. Um, in the shootout, uh, shooting first was Sam Anas, no goal. Josh Wilkins, no goal. Then, Gerald Mayhew, no goal. Rem Pitlick, no goal. Brendan Manel, no goal. Um, Daniel Carr, goal. Admirals win in Iowa for the first time since November of 2017. Goalies in the game. Um, where... Troy Grosnick stopped 30 at 35. Uh, Capo Kakinen stopped 28 at 33. Uh, attendance in Iowa was 3,507. Uh, refer uh, referees were Reed Anderson and Mason Riley. Linesmen were Travis Toomey and Sam Rankin.
The Admirals are now riding a eight game win streak. All right, and now over to the Nashville Predators side of things. All right, shots on goal were 25-39 Nashville. Uh, Nashville had 39, Winnipeg had 25. Uh, Face-off percentage was 52 for, for Winnipeg, uh, 48 for Nashville. Both teams were 0 for 2 on the power play with 8 penalty minutes apiece. Um, hits were 10 for Winnipeg, 18 for Nashville. Blocks were 18 for Nashville, 16 for Winnipeg. And giveaways were 11 Nashville, 6 Winnipeg. Uh, scoring in the first was Patrick Laine, his fifth, with an assist from uh, Connor, his tenth. Then Nikolai Ehlers scored in the second with an assist from uh, Vic Roslovic and uh, uh, Mark Shifley. Uh, Roslovic's fifth, Shifley's thirteenth, that was Ehlers' tenth. Then Nick Benino had his ninth with an assist from Grimaldi, his eighth, and Ham Hughes, his second. In the third period, there was no scoring. <sighs> um, for Nashville, on my uh, not so happy with you list, Phil Forsberg, two minus two, Victor Arvidsson, minus two. Ryan Johansson minus two, Ryan Ellis minus one, Roman Yossi minus one. The Roman Yossi minus one was not really his fault. Um, the puck went off the referee, therefore um, went straight to a uh, judge player, uh, Connor, and Connor dished it to Liney. Liney scored. Um, in net for Winnipeg was Connor Hellebuck. He stopped 38 to 39 with a save percentage of point seven or nine seven four. <coughs> I'm sorry, folks. Uh, in net for Nashville was UC Saros, stopping 23 to 25 with a point two point nine two zero save percentage. Actually, the Preds played their best game I've seen in a few days or in a few weeks. The Predators have not gotten a point since November 9th. And have not won a game since November 4th. They are now riding a five-game losing streak. Up next, they play the Vancouver Canucks on Thursday. Uh, guys to look out for on Vancouver are your, are your normal. The top two are at least your normal. Um, that is Emil Pedersen with 21 games played, 8 goals, 17 assists, 25 points. Uh, Brock Besser, uh, 21 games played, 9 goals, 11, 11 assists, 20 points. Uh, that JT Miller. Yeah, JT Miller, 21 games played, 8 goals, 12 assists, 20 points. Uh, Bo Horvat, uh, 21 games played. Six goals, nine assists, 15 points. Alex Edler, 21 games played, four goals, 10 assists, 14 points. Uh, Quinn Hughes uh, um, is tied for fifth with points. Quinn Hughes, 20 games played, two goals, 12 assists, 14 points. Um... I believe the Vancouver Canucks played today. While I wait for it to load. They are currently still in the third, losing 6-1. to one. As awkward as this sounds, and I'm pretty sure you don't hear this often, the Stars have scored one goal in the first, two goals in the second, and three goals in the third. One, two, three. Two, one in the first, two in the second, three in the third. It is quite awkward.
um, in net for Vancouver. That's not what I meant to do. Come on. I'm pretty sure everybody's gone through technical issues before. And that was Jacob Markstrom. He stopped 25 of 31. Um, for those of you that may remember, Jacob Markstrom just lost his dad in the last couple weeks. Uh, Jacob Markstrom is probably going to be the start, or, uh, Thatcher Debco is probably going to be the starter tomorrow. Um, for whatever reason, the statistics are not online for him. I can see if I can pull it up. All right, uh, Thatcher Demko has a 2.2 or 2.50 goals against average. Jacob Markstrom has a 2.59 goals against average. Uh, Thatcher Demko has a 0.916 save percentage. Jacob Markstrom has a 0.914 save percentage. Uh, Thatcher Demko and uh, Jacob Markstrom both have five wins, no shutouts. Um, that's...